Greetings, Word Horde. We're here with an exciting option for you, a version of our podcast without any ads. That's right. No advertising interruptions, just the content you love, ready to go in your favorite podcast apps like Spotify and Apple Podcasts. It's another way to support the show, ensuring that we keep bringing you the word stories and language explorations that you love. Try it at waywardradio.org slash ad free. And it's affordable. For just a small subscription fee, you can enjoy a way with words uninterrupted, except by us. Plus, it makes a great gift. Know somebody who loves language as much as you do? Give them the gift of words. Easy to sign up, easy to enjoy. It's the same away with words, just streamlined for your listening pleasure. Go to waywardradio.org slash adfree. Support us, support the show, and enjoy an ad-free listening experience. waywardradio.org slash adfree. Thank you. Support for Away With Words comes from Mosey Online Backup. Mosey protects your valuable computer files against data loss from hard drive crashes, viruses, theft, and other disasters. Find out more at mozy.com. Welcome to another minicast from Away With Words. I'm Martha Barnett. Time for another linguistic mystery. Where would you be if you decided to go twacking around duckish? And then you came home and wrote about it all in a scribbler. Any idea? Well, if you go twacking around duckish, you're likely in Newfoundland. The type of English spoken there may be the most distinctive collection of dialects in Canada. Some of it sounds a lot like Irish-accented English. Other dialects in Newfoundland have echoes of the speech of immigrants from the West Country of England. Visit this island and you'll be greeted by some colorful vocabulary. There, the verb to twack, that's T-W-A-C-K, means to go shopping and ask about the prices, but then not buy anything. I guess that's sort of the newfie version of window shopping. The word duckish means dusk or twilight. And a scribbler, that's a notebook. If you want to hear some terrific examples of Newfoundland English, you should check out the International Dialects of English Archive online, We'll post a link to it on our website. That's waywardradio.org. We'll also link to another great online treat for word lovers. That's the Dictionary of Newfoundland English. Rummage around on this lovely site and you'll discover a yaffle. That means an armful, a yaffle of great words. Like, for example, Dumbledore. That's right, spelled just like the Harry Potter character. In Newfoundland, a Dumbledore is a honeybee. We'd love to know what examples of regional English have caught your ear lately. Pass them along by emailing us at words at waywardradio.org. As they say in Newfoundland, hearing from you would make us wonderful happy. That's all until next week. For Away With Words, I'm Martha Barnett. Support for Away With Words comes from WordSmart, the vocabulary-building software. Improving your vocabulary, reading comprehension, and critical thinking skills will increase your chances for success. Learn more online at wordsmart.tv. You can support this program by making a donation at waywardradio.org slash donate. Thank you. Hey, listeners, we have a favor to ask. We'd love for you to fill out our listener survey at gum.fm slash words. Your feedback is crucial. It's quick, and it helps us make our show even better. It shapes our show, helps us plan, and ensures we're bringing you the content you love. That's gum.fm slash words. Thanks for being a part of what we do. Thank you.